guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. So as I'm filming this, it is Sunday, November 13th, which is the day before we find out if we got selected for pre-sale for the Eras Tour. I'm starting to feel nervous. I know that you guys are too, and you know, I've seen a lot of people saying this morning they woke up and were like, oh my God, tomorrow we either get waitlisted or selected to participate in pre-sale. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna sit here, drink my little peppermint mocha, and talk to you guys and give you a little, like some tips here and there, um, and kind of just like, try to be the voice of positivity because I'm very nervous yet I feel like there is hope and I'll tell you why. So I have been going to Taylor's tours since Speak Now and the Red Tour was the first time that I participated in a pre-sale and had to go through all the in and outs of the pre-sale so I've definitely been through this and I wanted to just kind of like talk to you guys um so speak now my mom's friend was actually kind enough to gift us tickets so I was able to see Taylor in Philly and the red tour my dad and I decided to go to two tour dates we were going to Columbia South Carolina because that's where my grandparents lived at the time and um DC so I remember that was like our first pre-sale experience and then 1989 and then rep tour and then <laughs> lover fest, which that went down the tubes, but now that brings us to the heirs tour. So, um, as someone who has gone through this many times, I wanted to kind of just sit here and talk to you guys about it. So, um, the red tour, I don't remember much about it, but I remember that there was a really long queue for it and those were in arenas and so was um, 1989. There were some arenas and then there were some like, you know, like baseball type stadiums and then there were stadiums for 1989 but it increasingly got larger. So 1989 I remember that there were tickets during pre-sale like hours later. So I remember that the pre-sale tickets actually went on sale when I was in class and my dad was texting me um, during like lunch or whatever. He was like, yeah, I wasn't able to get them, like so sorry. And I remember logging onto our Ticketmaster and I remember still seeing seats and he was like, darn it, like I, I can't, um, I can't fool you, whatever. He was messing around with me. So hours later there were still tickets during pre-sale. Now that was way back in 1989 where Taylor had not hit, and it's crazy to say her peak, her peak popularity and looking back, like that is crazy because Taylor has been like the top artist for so long, but there's definitely a new wave of fans with, and with the demand of this tour. So, um, then the rep tour came and there was a system called the boost system. Now the boost system was where fans could do activities and based on those activities, you would get like your priority spot for presale. That was the smoothest presale I've ever done. I was in charge of getting Philly tickets for my best friend, mom, dad, and I, and then Natalie actually got a ticket like to sit next to us, which was awesome. Um, so I was dealing with four tickets and for that though, there were like different tiers of priority. So you had like a selected time slot, um, where you'd be allowed in. And so it was a lot easier. Um, those were stadium tickets. I did not buy my opening night tickets until like, I want to say a month before my dad and I decided to go. Um, and so yeah, there were definitely tickets left. However, then comes Loverfest, and Loverfest was when I failed at presale. And I'm not gonna put that energy out in the universe, and I'm gonna tell you why not to compare it to Loverfest. Um, okay, so I got selected for presale for Loverfest, and I actually vlogged the whole experience. It was very intense. I will not be filming this experience. Like, I know it's just gonna be stressful, so um, I'll probably do a video on it like after the tickets are secured, but there's no way like I, I'm vlogging that like it's just gonna be too much. Okay, so I 
when I logged into Ticketmaster for Loverfest pre-sale, I remember that I was at 200, 2,000 plus people and the little man that runs across the screen was not moving and a lot of people were having this issue and by the time I got in, it was sold out and I sat at my computer for a solid like seven hours. So I'm gonna be your voice of positivity here and not compare it to Loverfest because for Loverfest, there were four United States dates. It was two Loverfest West and two Loverfest East. So the whole continental United States was divided where they were gonna see Taylor. You were either going to Gillette or you were going to California to see Taylor. And so there were literally four dates to like to have the demand for okay so like that's why um i'm saying don't compare it to that because this is 52 dates taylor is obviously 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 adding dates like she has been to encourage us like hey like it's okay like i want to make sure that you guys see me and it's going to happen don't you guys worry i know it's very stressful right now like i do um trust me because there is a lot of demand and it's an era's tour which means that she's going to be performing like everything in her musical catalog from like debut to midnights so of course there's going to be a heightened demand to see her um there's a new wave of fans and um yeah i'm very very nervous for tickets however i mean we're gonna get stuck in a queue and I'm honestly more nervous. Like I will feel more reassured when I get selected for pre-sale. I'm gonna say when, not if. We're gonna, we're just gonna, we're not gonna say that we're gonna get waitlisted. When we get selected <laughs> tomorrow night. Um, so Monday, November 14th. Start checking your email if you signed up for pre-sale, and they'll tell you if you're allowed to participate in pre-sale or if you're waitlisted. Um, so definitely keep an eye out now guys. Okay. And also another part is there was a queue to sign up for presale, which is absolutely crazy. Um, I keep putting my, <laughs> I keep putting my hand like right here on my monitor. There's a light like reflecting off of it. So I'm sorry. Um, but so when there was a queue for, pre-sale to even sign up you have to remember that was everybody signing up for pre-sale now that is scary like a queue for pre-sale just to sign up oh my god but that was everybody who wants tickets okay i saw some statistic the other day it was like taylor just opened up like 1.1 more million tickets to be sold with these new tour dates something like that it was something in that realm um but yeah, I think that freaked a lot of people out, like thinking about there being a queue for literally like to sign up. But like I said, that's everybody who's trying to get tickets. And when it comes down to it, it'll be your stadium and your date. And there's a lot of different dates, like there's multiple dates for different stadiums. And I, I, I think it's gonna be hard. Like I'm not saying that it's not gonna be hard because it definitely is, but I think I, I am just trying to be hopeful because I believe nothing else <laughs> right now other than we're all we're all gonna get tickets and it's gonna be it's not gonna be easy but it's gonna end up okay like we're gonna have to fight for these tickets but it's going to be okay um, in the long run so I'm going to opening night with four people including myself and so <laughs> I am very nervous and I'm also trying to get MetLife tickets. A lot of my tickets I'm hopeful to maybe get later on, like as it gets closer, um, because honestly I cannot buy tour dates like for multiple, multiple shows right now. Like I'm gonna get my priority tickets right now and then like, you know, like if I'm going a second night in a city or something like that, like tack it on later. But it's really, it's really stressful you guys, but now I'm going to go ahead and like give you some tips as somebody who has been stuck in the Ticketmaster queue for a long time. So, number one, do not refresh the page. Your browser will do it automatically. Number two, there are stadiums that are doing it through SeatGeek. And I personally am not sure 
myself how that's gonna work they've never done that I know Glendale's doing it and I know Arlington's doing it so you're still gonna get a Ticketmaster presale code but I think you go directly to SeatGeek and not Ticketmaster so um, definitely I recommend like just you know taking your time going through Ticketmaster like seeing where you want to sit that seating chart is looking pretty official because um, a lot of stadiums have been updating it to that so I would just kind of explore, make sure you make those phone calls to the people you're going with and say, hey, like, what's your budget? Where do you want to sit? Like, I have been on the phone with my friends so much. We've made our budget. We've, you know, put in place, like, when we're going to pay each other back. If we do get tickets, like, just have your plan intact. Um, that is the best way, you know, because when it comes to it, like, it is, it's, it, the fight does not stop for tickets once you're through the queue like once you're in there then you're gonna have to pick your seats very quickly because it's gonna be like uh oh a fan beat you to the tickets or something like that and you don't want to delay your time or your chances by trying to figure out where you want to sit that is definitely my biggest tip for any of you if you're participating in this presale do not number one refresh the page just let it let it slide and number two definitely definitely know where you want to sit and know your price budget for those that you're buying tickets for too so that is that's honestly like the biggest thing that i can tell you guys um just like make sure you're in there and you're quick about it and it's not like hmm let me check the prices over here well no like over here like go to where you want to sit first and if the price is too much then you know like move it to a different section um, but go directly where you want to sit first. Like, do not delay it. Um, that's the best, that's the best tip I have for you guys. Like I said, it's, it's going to be stressful. It's going to be fast paced. If you do get stuck in the queue, do not exit out. And I think I could be wrong. I know when my dad got tickets for 1989, he had different tabs open on his computer, like for Ticketmaster. However, I remember when I was trying to get Harry Styles tickets that I had it up on my phone and I had it up on my computer to see which one went faster and it actually on my phone kicked me out of the queue because it said that um, it looks like you're already in line because I was logged in on my phone and on my computer so I highly suggest picking one of the two and I do not recommend going through the Ticketmaster app. I've heard that it is, you know, faulty sometimes. So, yeah, that's that's literally the best I can tell you guys. Um, don't get too stressed out about it. I'm most stressed about, honestly, getting selected for pre-sale. Like, that is, that is stressful because I feel like I have a fair chance. However, I'm still nervous about it um, because... I just, at least with like verified fan, there's a better chance of getting it. And like when it's general sale, like there's no code, like it's, it's everyone. It is everyone. Another chance for, to get tickets is the Capital One presale. You do have to use a Capital One card to purchase the tickets. Like you can't like type, I think you need like the six, first six digits of a Capital One card or something like that to get in. Like that's your code. However, after that, you do have to have a Capital One card to buy the tickets. You cannot use like a debit card um, from another bank or anything like that. It has to be Capital One. So those are just some tips for you guys. I know, I know, I know that this is on everybody's mind. Um, and I kind of just wanted to sit here and talk to you guys about it because like I said, I know that it's stressful. It's stressing me out, but we just have to think positive and we can't give up. And, um, in the long run, we're going to be seeing Taylor. We're going to find a way to be there. So don't you worry. Um, I love you guys so, so much. And like I said, I'm going to post this the day before. So you guys have a little positivity because I know tomorrow everybody's gonna be like, oh man, like tickets are on sale tomorrow, like, you know, and it's gonna be stressful online. So I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna post this and like, just, just, you know, play it out and just, it's gonna be okay, you guys. And I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see you guys next year. I know if you see me, I know it's so early to say this, but like, if you see me at any of these shows, please say hi. Like, 
I love you guys. Like, my friend Stephanie came up to me at Tribeca and it made me so happy. She was like, oh my gosh, like Rachel, like I sit down and watch your videos all the time. I was like, no, because I love you so much. Like you guys are my friends. I want to help you. Um, and I can't wait to see you at the shows, but I'll see you online for now. And I hope this video entertained you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, yeah, you in the next one. Good luck, my friends. Bye.